All right, so B3 is an, an exam question based off organic chemistry. Okay, so that's just the background. Um, it says what type of hybridization is on carbons labeled 1, 2, and 3 in the above molecule? So what kind of hybridization do we have? Okay, so the shortcut that I gave and under my organic chemistry course was just count the number of connections whenever you're trying to determine the kind of hybridization okay especially when it comes to carbons so if you look at carbon one it's having three connections count the first one as s and then the rest as b's so one two and three so that would end on s p2 okay if it had four connections it would have been sp3 the carbon 2 um, is having connections 1 and 2. So, so now notice one thing that I'm counting a triple bond as 1, a double bond as 1. It doesn't matter. So making the carbon 2 to be sp hybridized. Carbon 3, 1 and 2. So that's also sp hybridized. Carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 1, sp2. We've answered the first simple question. Uh, B1 says, have you answered B? B1 says draw the structure of 1 ethyl, 2 methyl cyclohexene. So, hexene represents 6 carbons, right? So cyclo means it's a cyclic compound, so it will be one let's draw let's get so one two three four five six okay now to make it since we can see there is two E and E that's an alkene so we should add a double bond somewhere, anywhere. Okay, so we can put it just there. Okay. And then we are told this on carbon, on carbon 2. Okay. And then on carbon 1, that's where there is a fuel. And then on carbon 2, that's where there is methyl. So the methyl is on the same position with the alkene. So you can do something like this. Put methyl there and then put ethyl on one. You can make that one to be a one. So that is something like that's methyl and then that makes it ethyl. Okay. So I've drawn using skeletal structure. Okay. So that's for B1 there. And then we can move. So if you want to more practice questions on the UPAC naming structures, just uh, search a UPAC name, naming and then um, Transcended Institute. You'll be able to find the full one hour video there just to guide you. Or you can actually register on our site. Okay, link in the description below. You have access to all that. So we are on B2. Now for B2, we are told to we are told the name of one ethyl two methyl is incorrect according to the IUPAC guidelines. What is the correct IUPAC name for the structure? So I actually tried renaming this. I failed. So we need to draw it, okay? So this is actually what we are from drawing from the previous step, okay? So let me draw it again. So because I didn't do this question, it doesn't actually making sense on how that structure was named. So put a few there, and then, yeah, 
and this is a structure that we drew one ethyl two methyl cyclohexane right so that is not the correct way of naming this because we are supposed to ensure that the alkene should have the lowest position as a parent in this in this case so we should take it to be on carbon remember there's also methyl there let me not forget we should take it on should that be on position one okay so wherever it is should be position one so it can either be here or there but we'll put it we'll assign it at a position where it's easier for us to have the possible lowest combinations in terms of positions so let's take that one to be the first one and the other one to be two so i think we have just one and two you know uh, naming if you had to start from here you'd have one two and three so we'd have bigger numbers we tend to avoid that according to the upac rules so we go for a direction which will give you the lowest possible combinations but as well give priority okay so therefore um looking at it the way we've, we've drawn it um remember initially it was on carbon two that's why we had put um the material right it was on carbon two so now if we try to name it the way we have what are we going to have so it will be one wait 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 this is this structure one two three four five six seven. so that would be two two on carbon two that's why we have a few okay and then on carbon one you have methyl and then cycro yeah so that's the way i feel we should be able to rename the structure okay giving the lowest position to the to the exene of the alkene part the double bond we've given it carbon position one and then because because initially um in our naming in the naming of the other part it was given carbon one and then on carbon two that's where we had the alkene and the methyl so if we try to reverse that instead it'd be one two like i've put it so this is the way the proper way that you can name this structure Provide the UPAC name for the following. So how many carbons is it? So look at the sides here. So one, two, three, four, five, six as well. So it takes us back to what we're from looking at. So let's make become a cycle. Now this is something different. Um, if you try to assess the, the bones that we have inside there, they are there is an, inter in, an interchange between the double bond and the single bond. Okay, so whenever you see that, it takes us to different compounds. Okay, so this one is called benzene. Okay, so kind of like cyclohexane but what is differentiating is the fact that we've got double bonds a double bond after a single bond that's what makes it benzene okay now this benzene has got some substituents that are connected to it among which there is this one the amino group and then that's the hydroxyl group and then this is a theory, right? So where do we put where do we start counting from this position one? So if you start from here, one, two, three, four, five. Now 
which one is more important if you look at this which one is more important between the three that we have so priority what do we give priority to in this case so we we'll give priority to the hydroxyl group as the most important in this case okay so let's give it carbon one so let that one be carbon one and then the amine group so one two three and then five for ethyl so when it comes to naming this is now where we alphabetize a comes first a has been given position three so three amino and then E comes second, so that would be five. Um, ethyl one hydrog zero, and then benzene at the end. Okay, so that's how you name this one. So if you don't know how to go about naming of aromatic compounds, again on our site is a video dedicated just to naming a lot of aromatic compounds okay and then this one is simple and straightforward feel free to pause the video and try it out so the number of carbons one two three four four makes it what butane now what's the functional group here so carboxylic which is the highest in priority so this becomes turns into butanoic acid right okay but then there's another substrate there so that will change the name so that carbon takes position one so this will take position two and then we also have fluorine there on carbon three so we have between hydroxy and fluorine which one comes first between F and H so F comes first so say three Fluoro as an allergen and then two hydroxyl and then the parent's name comes at the end butanoic acid okay and that's how you can name these two structures okay and then we are now on D